Cloning VG Simos 18.1 ECU. Best tools revealed. Auto Tuner, Flex, or KSS3. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your number one destination for everything automobile diagnostics. Before we get into today's video, I just want to take a moment to remind you all to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified every time we post new, exciting content. It only takes a second, but your support means the world to me. Also, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with others who might need this info. Now, let's talk about something many of you have been asking about, cloning the VAG Simos 18.1 ECU. This is one of those topics that can get a bit tricky, but don't worry. I'm here to guide you through it step by step. So grab a seat and let's dive in. The challenge, cloning a damaged Simos 18.1 ECU. If you have a working Simos 18.1 ECU that's damaged and you're trying to clone it to a donor ECU, you're probably wondering, what's the best way to do this? Well, let's break it down for you and talk about the tools you can use to clone your Simos 18.1 unit. First, a quick disclaimer. This video is all about providing educational and informational content to help vehicle technicians, enthusiasts, and learners like you understand automobile diagnostics and programming better. We use images and clips strictly for educational purposes. Nothing here is for commercial use. And of course, always follow manufacturer guidelines and local regulations when working on vehicles. So now, let's get back to the matter at hand. Which tools can clone the Simos 18.1 ECU? The short answer? Not every tool out there can do it, but there are a few that really stand out. Let's take a closer look at some of the best ones, and I'll explain why each one works or doesn't work for cloning the Simos 18.1. The tools to clone the Simos 18.1 ECU. One, Auto Tuner. Let's talk about Auto Tuner first. This tool can clone the Simos 18.1 but it's not as simple as just pressing a button. You'll need to prepare the dumps and take a full backup. The good news is that Auto Tuner can fully decrypt all of the necessary areas, including the MO data areas, which is crucial for a successful clone. Here's the thing. Cloning is only possible if you can decrypt the full ECU data and Auto Tuner has you covered. This tool handles the delicate decryption of the security areas and ensures that the data transfer is done properly. The main takeaway here is Auto Tuner can clone the Simos 18.1, but be sure to take that back up before you start. 2. Alien Tech KSS3. Next up, we have KSS3 from Alienech. This is a powerful tool, no doubt, but there's a catch. It requires you to read the dumps either in boot mode or with a hex proc. Once you have those dumps, you can transfer the MO data to the donor ECU. One of the great things about KSS3 is that it's designed to handle full ECU data, including security blocks. But remember, compatibility is key. KSS3 can clone Simos 18.1, but you'll need to make sure that the donor ECU is 100% compatible with the original, or else you'll run into problems. KSS3 is ideal for professionals, and it's got all the right protocols for the job. 3. Flex by Magic Motorsport let me tell you, if you want the ultimate tool for Simos 18.1 cloning, Flex is the way to go. This is a professional-grade tool that shines when it comes to cloning VAG ECUs, and it's specifically known for its reliability with newer models like the Simos 18.1. Flex does a fantastic job of decrypting encrypted data, unlocking the ECU in boot mode, and transferring everything you need, VIN, power class, and immobilizer info to the donor ECU. However, keep in mind that compatibility between the original and donor ECUs is crucial for a successful clone. You can't just pick any donor ECU and expect it to work. So, Flex is perfect for professional tuners and shops that specialize in this kind of work. 4. CMD Flash CMD Flash has received an update, and while it's a solid tool, it's still not fully capable of decrypting all the necessary areas in the Simos 18.1 ECU. This tool is effective, but if you're looking for a full and seamless cloning experience, Auto Tuner, Flex, or KSS3 are your go-to options. Key considerations for cloning Simos 18.1. When cloning the Simos 18.1, there are a few critical factors you need to keep in mind. Compatibility. 
The donor ECU must match the original in both hardware and firmware versions. Some sectors in the CIMOS 18.1 ECU are one-time programmable OTP, meaning they can't be replicated. Cloning focuses primarily on editable data like immobilizer information. So make sure your donor is compatible with the original. Boot mode. Most tools require you to open the ECU and connect in boot mode to bypass security. This is necessary to access all the data, especially the sensitive parts like IMO data. Immobilizer data. Successful cloning isn't just about copying the engine map or coding. It's about transferring critical data like VIN, component security, CS, MAC, and power class. Without this, the donor ECU won't function properly. Avoid cheap clone tools. If you're using clone KTAG or KSS tools, you'll likely run into problems. These tools often fail to properly handle the encrypted data in the CIMOS 18.1 ECU, meaning your cloning attempt won't be successful. What my take on this? So after breaking it all down, what's my personal opinion? Honestly, for those looking to clone a CIMOS 18.1 ECU, Flex and Auto Tuner seem like the top choices for professional results. If you're working with a budget and don't mind a bit of extra setup, KSS 3 is a solid option. Just be sure you have the right donor ECU or you'll run into trouble. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you agree with my picks? Have you used one of these tools yourself? Drop your opinions in the comments. I'm really interested to know what you think. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe for more content and share it with anyone you think might benefit from this info. Final reminders. Huge thanks to all my regular viewers and subscribers. Your support keeps this channel running. If you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's completely free and it helps me out more than you know. Let's aim for 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the first 24 hours. If you really enjoyed the video, consider sending a super thanks to show your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy diagnosing.